Hi everyone, welcome to the next in our series of the um, Retro Bat uh, Complete Build series. Uh, we're up to ooh, video nine now, so this one's going to be a quick one. <laughs> I know I said every single time, but this one really should be a quick one. Uh, going to add a few more systems and then just quickly run through the, the update process, which I know is fairly straightforward, but you know, just so everyone can see it, uh, see how easy it is. Right, so I will keep this one short, so let, let's crack on. A couple of games. Uh, sort of system, sorry, on the right hand side here to add. So the PC Engine, uh, the SG1000, and the Sharp X68000, 68K. Uh, so, same as normal, go to our RetroBrat folder, wherever you may have still installed it, into the ROMs folder, into the ROMs folder, uh, and then we've got, okay, do the first one, PC Engine, Let's scroll to the end here. Drag, let go. Same password as always. So again, copying the games and all the artwork. All ready to go. SG Fet 1000 is actually a, a Sega system. Probably uh, lesser known than the other systems, but still worth worth adding. And then lastly, the sharp, which I guess comes under uh, the computer category. So these are relatively small systems again, but just a few more to, uh, to, to bolster the, the build. Uh, okay, so that's all covered across. So back in track about folder. Let's double click the XE. Move these out of the way. And then just drag that down. Okay, so we should have, so yeah, Sega SG-1000, as you can see from the, uh, the controller there. Quite an old system, but just worth adding. A lot of uh, a lot of Japanese games in here. But again, all the artworks there, all the games, so we're all good there. Actually, just for completeness, let's let's uh, launch one. Guzzler, good as any. So I'm presuming this is RetroArch again, which it is. Custom bezel and there's the game. So yeah, 1983. Again, a kind of Pac-Man type ripoff. So that's all good. So we had S1000. Uh, oh, there's the shop. So let's have a look in here. A whole bunch of games. Again, what about something duplicated where it's their multiple disc? So I think as I showed in a previous video, you, you can um, delete these out. So if we hold down the select button here on the first one in the list, uh, and it's meta metadata, yeah, you can see so it's disc one of five. So this is disc one. You can see, sorry, just at the top here, it's disc one. So, okay, we'll come back up here, and then for example, this one should or probably is disc two yeah so this one and obviously the subsequent ones discs uh three four and five we can come down to hidden and hit save oh, so the wheel spun round uh and now that one's gone you see so you just need to do the rest with the uh wheel again just to just to tidy up okay so let's actually go and try a, a game now Arcanoid. I should run well, retro arch yet. There we go. Custom bezel again. There you see the, uh, the sharp kind of boot sequence. And game played. 
So again, I haven't got the control turned on, but it's you know standard controls. But anyway, let's hit escape. Come out of there. That's all good. Like I say, trying to keep the uh, video short and sweet now. I think everyone knows kind of the method of adding games. Uh, so the next one was P or the last one. So it was PC Engine. Let's just try and find it in the list. There we go, PC Engine. So yeah, a whole bunch of games, a whole bunch of artwork. Let's try a bit of Afterburner. And there we go, that's loaded. That's again, custom bezel. Let's just start again quickly. Again, run a little bit slow as I'm recording, but you can see that's all running fine. So let's just quickly exit that one. So that's all the systems added. Uh, we've all added, yeah. So the last thing I want to do is just quickly show the update process because there is an update available. And it's version 5.2, but we'll check that in a minute. So obviously, I think most people are probably you know, it's quite a straightforward thing to update, but also it's just, just so everyone can have a, have a look and see what the process is, see how easy, easy it is. Obviously, you know, the idea of the guide is that everyone can, can watch them, you know, no matter how, sort of, you know, how much technical knowledge you've got, either on PCs or Metro Gaming or anything like that. So, yeah, let's uh, let's have a quick look. So we head to go into the menu and we go down to updates and downloads. And then we've got check for updates is turned on, so it does automatically, which is hence where the notification at the top. Um, update title mentioned before, you can either have stable or beta. The stable is obviously, as it says, it's, it's kind of the, the main main release at the time. Uh, beta is where they release um, we've got beta versions, so early versions where they're adding new features. And there might be a few bugs and things not quite working properly, but you can test it and report back and help develop, and then they come back and update it and fix it and eventually release the, the stable version. So for most people, I'd probably say just down the stable version. Uh, and then when you're ready to update, just come to here, click Start Update. So you're currently in version, using version 5.11. Uh, do you want to update version 5.20? So we just say yes. Then you see the top corner here, we've got downloading update, and it should be pretty much straightforward. You just basically download the file, and once it's done that, it should prompt you to restart. We'll restart with a new version. So let's just let that run. Okay, it's going to be a, a full update. So uh, it might take a couple of minutes. What I'm going to do, I'll let it run and then possibly fast forward. So we'll come back to it in a second. Okay, so there you see it's, it's finished doing the update. Now it says it's ready. Gives you a little prompt to say that you just need to uh, restart um, to complete the, uh, the update process. So you can either do the quit or do Alt F4. For, for those that don't know, Alt F4 is a kind of a shortcut for Windows to, to close the active window. So um, you can do whatever you want. Just uh, hit OK on that. I hit back. Go down to quit done and then just uh, come back to retrobat and uh, relaunch and now it's just uh, doing the actual update so it kind of downloads the update files it needs or the, the main update file and then applies it when it starts up and that is that.
Done. So you know, no no visible no difference. Obviously the the themes are same. That's not changed. Uh, but if we just go in, obviously a lot of this all looks the same. You see at the bottom here now it says Retrobat 5.2 stable. But like I say, if you check check their website, you can look at the change log. I think I did briefly look at this before. Um, but let's have a quick look now. Um, and you can basically just see. Uh, Let's see what's happened. So, oh, look at retro bat again. That first hit in, in Google is still the old ones. Go to the org, uh, change log at the top here. So, 5.2. So, think this is now, yeah, I went through this before quickly in the other video, but it's basically the um, some of the two of the buttons were inverted or ran the wrong way. Um, when uh, configured in the emergency station, they fixed that. A couple of issues with open they fixed. Some more issues here. Uh, removed a couple of bits that weren't working. Another fix, another fix. Uh, and then a couple of extra emulators they've added. So uh, for the Jaguar CD, they've added a big PEMU. Uh, Commodore PET. It's been added. Coleco Adam. Archimedes. So yeah, a bunch of stuff added there. What's version here? Some features as well. So updated some features on the emulators. Bunch of miscellaneous stuff that they fixed or updated. And that's it. You can read through that, and also down here you can read through the change log of all the previous ones. So yeah, that, that that's how you check. But but normally, unless there's a major update, you probably won't see much difference. But obviously, it's worth doing. I'd say just to make sure anything, yeah, any sort of fixes are, are fixed. And little bugs are fixed and obviously new systems are then added as well so, so that's it that's that's the update process um and that was obviously a few systems added so i think everything kind of worked the first time there which is which is good so um yeah it was a slightly shorter video than normal which is good uh, let's quickly fly up to all games and we're now up to nearly three and a half thousand so looking good obviously there's, there's a lot more to come um, I still haven't added some of the bigger systems. A lot, you know, a lot of these have been fairly small ones, but there's bigger systems like MAME, which has got a lot in, and a lot of the CD-based systems. Also added some PlayStation games, but then we need to go on to things like PSP, PS2, PS3, the Wii, Wii U, and kind of move away through the newer systems. Uh, Dreamcast as well is another one we need to do. Also, that's disc-based, you know, CD-based. Um, so that's fairly sizable. Um, but yeah, so I hope, again, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's making sense and everyone's following it and getting some use from it. Um, so yeah, please like the video, add the, any comments, and also please subscribe. Um, subscribe really helped me try and, as I say, build the channel. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, let us know if there are any requests. Feel free to join the uh, Discord server or my uh, Facebook group and have a chat in there. If ask any questions, make any requests, and I'll catch you on the next one. Yes.